Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Cultivate Camp. I'm Garrett. And I'm Matt. Today we're going to talk about working in remote groups with Cultivate. That's right guys. We are going to show you how Cultivate helps keep teams connected when they're working remotely and how you're able to stay organized and collaborate with group posts and folders. First thing we have to show you is simply our overall group feature. Anyone can create a group and add users to it. Groups can be used for private communication or as an open group for all employees to view and comment in. Yep, and here at Colivate, we use groups in a ton of different ways. Matt and I have an office-specific group for us where we talk about current local networking opportunities, U.S.-based sales, issues dealing with only our office, or things that we just want to talk about. I belong to groups dedicated specifically to the design and development of new features, as well as supporting our existing customers. Um, as teams in Colivate, we use these groups to post documents detailing information that, you know, explains the expected functionality of new releases or detailed reports for improvement of certain bugs. That's right. See, I use groups as well, but in a vastly different way. When you set up a call of a group, you can also create a team drive with the same label. Uh, what this does is helps to organize your team documents and keep everyone collaborating on the same things. Personally, I create documents within groups to centralize specific documents in a specific place. Uh, for example, our ISO 9001 documents are stored in a team drive that's associated with our ISO certification group. I post all documents to this group and then invite the management team to review and discuss changes or new implementations. Yep, and we use groups for many other things here. Um, I'm going to show you just a short way of how Matt and I use groups right now. So I'm going to show you how group posts work with Colivate. Whenever you navigate to the group posts area, you can see a list of all of the groups that are available to you and your domain. Here we're going to take it our daily sharing group, which is my only favorite group here. This shows you all of the posts that have been made under this group heading. You can see Matt and I share all of these images together or documents and can comment on anything that the other one posts. Right now I'm going to show you how you can post something directly to another user. You just go ahead and mention their name, type them a small message, and then attach your document. It's that simple. Groups are an integral part of our workflow and the workflows of many of our clients. With so many people working remotely now, Cultivate aims to alleviate the pain of communicating with your team and make sure everyone has a voice in their departments. Thanks so much for joining us today, everyone. And we'll see you again soon for our next installment of Cultivate Camp. Bye-bye.